Well, hey, crafty friends, and happy Friday to you if you're watching live. If not, happy whatever day of the week it might be. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use tissue. Well, this is sort of like gift wrapping slash tissue paper to Mod Podge. Some of these little wood pile, I call them wood biscuits. They look like this. And paint them. And we're going to decoupage uh, this $3 little round that I got at Dollar Tree. And we're gonna make the cutest little flower, the cutest, happiest little flower. So as you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle. Let me give you the 411 on this paper. This one piece of paper was something that was put in a shopping bag <laughs> when I was at a cute little boutique a while back. And I thought it was so adorable that I held onto it with this cute little bird. I have absolutely no idea where you can find it, although somebody did mention that you might be able to find it on Amazon, okay? But it's super cute. You could alternatively use a napkin that has like an all over pattern like this one or this one or you could use a solid it's totally up to you okay so i did a lot of the steps before i came live so that we'd be able to go all the way to the end and one of the steps that i did was to decoupage um, a long strip all the way around the edge of this and what i want to show you now is how you can burn this off uh, if you don't want to file it. Okay, so let's just give that a try and let me grab my bucket of water just in case. Uh, Mr. Scott, my husband does not want me to burn the house down and of course I don't either. So, okay, and I'm gonna cut these ones that are super long, but just a little bit shorter so we don't have a raging fire. Um, you want it to, let me think, you want it to be burning up. So on this side, I'm going to let it, I'm going to start it um, and hold it this way. Don't worry about this black char that's on here. We're going to get that off. So I did already burn the bottom. Okay, let me get this off before I relight it. Gosh, I don't have enough hands. I'm gonna just um, push it off into my tub of water. Okay, let's finish burning this puppy. Same thing with the wood chips, um, but I opted to just file mine off. Okay, keep going. I may end up painting this edge. this method. We're also going to do the ironing method of decoupage. I'm going to show you that. Um, okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, I think that's as far as I'm going to go with that because I don't want to. how that works all right um, now before I came live I took some Mod Podge you can get this everywhere every 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 crafting location carries Mod Podge 
Um, I prefer the matte, but if you have glossy, use that. Or if you like the antiqued Mod Podge, use that. Use what you have. Um, yeah, and so I took a paintbrush and I covered the inside right here with one coat and it's dry. And then I did my best to cut out this little circle. And hopefully it's going to be about the right size. Close enough. It's a little big right here. Okay. So let me pull my iron over. And let me start on that part. All right, this is my little craft room iron that my friend Susie sent me a long time ago. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my piece inside here, and then I'm gonna lay a piece of parchment paper over the top, and I'm just gonna try ironing it. Um, I thought it would be hard, honestly, to uh, be able to work on the inside of this tray with it being wet. And when you're ironing, it's usually easier. Okay, so my iron is set about cotton, roughly. No steam. And when you put a hot iron on top of your... Um, Wow, on top of your tissue, your, whatever that you Mod Podged on here, it reactivates the Mod Podge. Okay, see, so just a couple little areas that need a little bit more work, and then we'll be good to go for the next step. So, and these little craft irons, I don't know where she got it. I'm imagining you could pick something up like this at a craft store or Walmart. But anyways, these fit into little spaces, which is great. happy and cute. I love this little bird right here. Okay, so the other thing I did before I came live, let me find it, was I mod podged a biscuit, one of these wood biscuits. Here it is. I just put Mod Podge on one side of it, this side, and I'm just gonna take a teeny little piece of this tissue paper, and I'm gonna lay that on top of it. And you can arrange that however you think is gonna be cute, whatever you want. I'm gonna put my paper on it. But this is not tissue paper, sorry. This is um, parchment paper, not wax paper, it's parchment paper. And it just protects your iron, that's all. Okay, so see, it is on there. Cut off the excess. And I'm going to do this one like I did the others with a file and some sandpaper. All right, I have too many things on my desk today. I'm just going to use an Emily board because that's easy. And you're just going to basically file around the edges. This flower is going to be so cute, so I hope you'll stay with me because the next step is the assembling, and I'm going to tell you about the paint that I used and what my idea is, how many pieces you need, all that. 
kind of good stuff. And this project, the good thing about this one is um, these are just the colors that I chose based on this. Um, it's like tissue paper for inside of a bag. Um, but you could choose your colors based on, you know, whatever napkins or tissue you might be choosing to use. Okay, and that's basically it. All right, so let me unplug my iron and move it out of the way. And we'll move on to the really fun part of this project, which is the flower assembly. Okay, by the way, in case you've noticed that parchment paper is really expensive, um, I found this package at Dollar Tree that had about five sheets of parchment paper for $1.25. So it was with the kitchen section. If, um, if you're noticing that parchment paper's either hard to find or expensive, consider doing, looking at Dollar Tree. All right. So before I came live, I mixed these two colors. I don't have that lid on there, good. This is Waverly Matte Finish No Prep Acrylic Paint in Ballet Slipper. And this is the, I think it's called Crimson. Yeah, Waverly Crimson. These are both, I get these at Walmart, but you can use whatever kind of paint you want. I mixed these two because I wanted a pretty bright pink. And then I painted one side of these from the top to the bottom. All right, and here's the deal. This project would be better with eight pieces on the bottom and eight pieces on the top, but wouldn't you know it, I only had 15 of these little pieces and I didn't wanna drive all the way to Hobby Lobby to get more. So we're going to do seven and seven, but if you decide to do this project, I think it would work better and look better if you used eight. All right, and I want to make this project so that this little bird right here doesn't get covered up. And let me think, how did I decide to do this? Yeah. Okay, I decided to do the side that is angled, not this side, in the center. So I'm just gonna lay down, I'll, I'll pick it up so you can see in just a minute. Laying down my pieces, my seven pieces. know how I'm going to really tip this over but um, and now I'm just going to start gluing them down one at a time and then I'll pick up the whole thing and show you So what is everybody up to this weekend? Who's crafting this weekend? I am, <laughs> but I'm always crafting. So that's nothing new for me. I don't think I said any of my normal stuff. As you guys are hopping on, Tell me where you're watching from. Feel free to ask questions. Feel free to sprinkle all that good stuff. Um, check to see if you followed my page. 
We're getting so close to 200,000 followers. I think when I looked this morning, it was 194,000 followers. And I know that means absolutely nothing to you, but to me, it's been a long journey to get here. And um, so of course I'm eager to go all the way. It's kind of cute already. All right, and then I have seven pieces of these biscuits that I decoupaged some of the paper on. And I'm going to look to see how do I want to place these. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start gluing. And I'm gonna scooch them out a little bit. Oops. So that I have room in the center for something cute in there. And I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. Let me just get some of these glued down. So I'm just spacing them in between the pieces that I painted. And I'm basically putting a little bit of glue on the edges. I'm just laying it down, trying to have that be as centered as possible. So cute. I wanted to come live to you guys yesterday to show you this project, but I just didn't have it all figured out at that point. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I will get super close ups. Can you see? The bottom layer is the ones that I just painted pink. The top layer are the ones that I decoupaged with an iron, some of that adorable tissue paper on. And then, um, these are those little wood pile wagon wheels. I actually found these at Goodwill and I painted them the same color pink. And my thought was just to add these to the center here. Oh, I need more glue. That's just gonna cover up the hole in the center. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. And let's do one more layer. So if you hopped on late, um, these little wood pieces that I'm using, if you get them at Hobby Lobby, they're in the wood section um they call them natural driftwood chips but i've seen similar things other places called wood biscuits and this was 2.99 and i don't know how many pieces it had a whole bunch and then these are the paints that i used from walmart and we used a mod podge Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Let's see, where did that little bird go? So I think now that I'm looking at it, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more and I think I will paint this over the last few days. Anyways, I'm very sorry about that. That was my son calling. Um, so I'll call him back as soon as I'm done. But this is our project. It started with this $3 wood round 
from Dollar Tree. And I think it's just happy. So I'm going to clean it up and, okay. I'm so very sorry. He called again. Anyways, so that means I have to get off because I'm sure he'll call one more time. Um, but I hope you guys liked this project and that it gave you some ideas um, for how you can build flowers using these uh, driftwood chips or wood biscuits. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, feel free to sprinkle. Look to see if you have followed my page and all that other good stuff. And I'll get pictures, put them here, as well as just on DIY Dreaming, and I hope to see you guys later.